you've watched any early access content or the live stream for the new Sims 4 My Wedding Stories game pack, you probably know that while the new world is beautiful and there are some beautiful build buy items, the gameplay itself is struggling both with lag and glitches galore. Now while hopefully the team will have some bug fixes on the way, some are wondering is this new DLC worth it or at full price? Well today I'm going to share ways you can use the base game, other packs, and some great Sims 4 Wedding CC and mods to recreate some of the new game pack all for free. But before we get into this Wedding CC mods and base game review, my name is Simmer Aaron. I cover Sims 4 news, speculation, and info videos as well as pair lives. And my question for you today is, do you plan to buy the new game pack? And is there any CC or any tips that I've shared that you would use from this video? Now I want to start with some things you can do with the base game and some of the packs for better weddings without CC or mods. Followed up, I'm going to have a showcase of my wedding CC haul and my wedding bill buy downloads, and finally a wedding mod. So please check the description of my video for links to all CC and mods, and let's get started. If you're a console player or if you just don't like using CC or mods, there actually though are some options to make weddings a little bit better. I across this thread and it was tweeted by Sims Hive and this is exactly what they said in their wedding screenshots on how to improve weddings without CC or mods. I just threw a wedding and wow, I didn't realize how many features of my wedding stories are already in the base game or you can replace them with objects from other packs. This is the wedding venue that I built, which I used as a park lot type at the time. So obviously very beautiful, you don't need any CC, and you don't need the pack in order to create this. I managed to have everyone seated before they exchanged their rings, and you can do this by adding all sims to a group. So if you're adding all sims to a group, it's more likely they're going to remain seated. Also, the private dwelling lot trait keeps random sims away from crashing your wedding. So I thought those two tips were really great, getting sims to be seated by adding them to a group and employing the private dwelling lot trait. Not foolproof, but really might help. It was also time to exchange rings next and everybody remained seated. As I said before, you can add everyone to a group or there actually is a mod. Then later, I used the podium from City Living so they could give speeches. I also used some items from Luxury Party Stuff, which does of course make sense. And then it was time to take the first slice of cake and it actually did work. Everybody came and they took the cake. Everyone started eating the cake at the same time and they also started dancing. So this is really cool because there's a lot of little hacks you can do to your game to really improve your weddings and you don't need to pay anything for this and you don't even need any CC. The only caveat is that you would actually still need a mod for slow dancing, but as a whole I think this is really an excellent point and I really hope it's helpful to someone. Now as for wedding CC, I'd love to do a more expansive CC haul, but I wanted to select just a few main suits and wedding dresses. Some of this comes from the Rustic Romance pack, which if you don't know about, you definitely need to check it out. But most of this is actually individual downloads, and again, I will provide links for all the CC and mods. Check the description of this video. Now, there's a blend of Maxis Match CC and what I would call almost Maxis Mix. So it's not really like alpha, but it's also a little bit more detailed than your average Maxis Match. It's my personal favorite style. I know not everybody will like it, but hopefully you see something that you like. For masculine sims, I settled on a few classic suits and tuxedos, which I actually expected to get more in the wedding pack. A few of these have some pretty fun color swatches and play with textures, some are really interesting. So I'm not saying that I love every single one of these, but I do really like the variety that it poses and it really shows how masculine wedding styles are taken further than I think The Sims 4 currently is and we could just get more variety. I think all of these have really great details that I feel like are kind of missing in the cast catalog for Sims 4 in general, let alone the new wedding pack. So while there isn't a ton of choices here, there are some nice options and I hope you like some of these suits. Now I didn't want this to be just a CC haul video obviously, so I admit I didn't really look specifically for children. These dresses are mostly all from the Rustic Romance pack, I do really love them. 
but let me know if you would like to see some CC for children or for toddlers. I would love to do that as well. Now, for wedding dresses, you all know that I am very passionate about wedding dresses. I made a whole 30 minute video about wedding dresses. But my goal was just to show a variety of styles and what's available out there. So there are some gorgeous Japanese wedding dresses, but unfortunately I'm not including that in the CC haul because it actually did require Snowy Escape and that is an expansion pack that I don't currently own. I did include mermaid dresses, trumpet style dresses, A-lines, sheaths, and ball gowns, as many silhouette types as possible. I loved selecting wedding dresses that really showcased different fabrics, necklines, and details. Some of my favorites include details like appliques, keyhole necklines, and backs, and just really goes to show what details make a big difference. I also love how every wedding dress comes in, of course, not only white or ivory, but just a nice range of colors, so it's really versatile and you can use them as you wish. I will say, though, that the fuller skirts and the four skirt you get, like the good ball gowns, there's going to get clipping issues and this is kind of inevitable. So I will say that I think if you want something that has no clipping at all, I wouldn't pick a ball gown. I did include also a traditional African wedding dress as well and some hair accessories including floral crowns and veils. Now again, with the veils, none of these are perfect and clipping can occur depending on what the hairstyle is. So just keep that in mind. The ball gown is usually actually my favorite silhouette in real life. I also really love A-lines. But for the CC haul, I actually think that the mermaid wedding dresses and the fit and flares were really beautiful. I think that the details were absolutely stunning. And I also think that it nails it without having as many clipping issues. So just keep that in mind. Next up is my Build by CC. And most of the CC I absolutely just love. Now, if you'll notice, the CC Built By catalog is really embracing a similar rustic style that I think that My Wedding Stories is kind of going for. So forgive me for this footage because I'm definitely not used to showcasing Built By items, so it's a little clunky. But a lot of this is indeed from the Rustic Romance Pack, including the signs and the gorgeous tree. Though I will say I did also add a few unique decor items as well. Now I will say there are great swatches for nearly everything here. There's whites, neutrals, dusky tones, etc. But I will say if you're looking for something really vibrant and bright, neon colors, you're probably not going to find it in these CC finds. Now you can actually interact with some of these items. You can light the candles and you can interact with the cake, but this was a big disappointment because the cake was supposed to be edible. And when I went to try to cut the cake, maybe it's just my game, but my Sims were not cooperating and it really wasn't working. So let me know if you do know of a functioning edible cake, that would be really great. But besides that, I really love the CC that I have here. You can even set one of the tables. And I think for this collection, if you like this aesthetic, it's absolutely spectacular. It's also a nice alternative to the new game pack items. Now, of course, you don't get a functioning IO runner, and it's definitely not the best if you want to upload something to the gallery because it's not going to be seen as much because it has CC. Now, the main mod that I found for weddings was actually a 2021 wedding mod, and it isn't admittedly going to dramatically impact your gameplay, but then again, I would say that the new game pack doesn't either. It just adds touches of realism and new interactions. So from the bit that I tested, many of the interactions are going to show up as basically rabbit holes. You can do things like see a caterer, you can go to a bridal salon, discuss marriage contracts, all sorts of things. You can elope immediately. There's also like a little wedding planner tool as well. I think it's really well designed and I think it's a nice interface and I think it does add lots of nice new interactions between your partner. But again, it's not going to fundamentally change the actual ceremony or event whatsoever. You can find out all the details on the download page. The good news is that it does function properly, everything that I tested, but again, it's just kind of bits of realism, a lot of rabbit holes, and new interactions. So I will say there are, of course, other mods and pieces of CC that I didn't fully show here, so please check out my links in your description if you are interested, and of course, there are other ones that exist that I did not cover in this video. Of course, this by no means fully replaces Sims 4 My Wedding Stories game pack, nor is it intended to. 
But I would say that with mods and CC and just tweaking some things about your game and how you play for weddings, you can improve the experience without spending that 20 US dollars. Ultimately, it is up to you if you think that the new world and the gameplay and the cast items or the build buy really makes sense for spending that $20. I would say even as someone who really is excited about wedding concepts in general, maybe wait to see if the gameplay ends up being more functional. I really hope it is. I don't know if it will be. But of course, if you're just buying based upon the world or if you're just buying based upon the build buy catalog, I guess you wouldn't really mind one way or the other. I really hope this was helpful and I think it's just really fun to kind of see what modders and CC creators are up to. I am actually planning a video on console players in the works. I have no clue what I'm going to do with it yet, but I think it is also really important to acknowledge that not everybody can use CC and mods, and it's really important to know that it goes beyond that, and console players currently are struggling with terrible issues with gameplay. Even though it's bad enough on PC right now with the lag and the glitches, it's even worse for console players. So let me know what you think about all this. Let me know what you think about My Sims 4 Wedding Stories Game Pack. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye.